Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about pocket cloth diapers. Something that if you know me, I'm not a huge fan of, but I know there are a lot of pocket cloth diaper fans out there. And the idea of having to remove a soiled insert after your child pees or poops is kind of disgusting. But for most single open cloth diapers, this is what you gotta do. Because if you don't remove the insert before wash day, Chances are the insert will just get all like bunched up at the bottom when you pull it out of the wash and it won't have really gotten clean and it will probably still stink. So you need to remove them. However, I have a secret for you. I think this secret is not talked about enough on the internet. My secret, my secret is to use a pocket cloth diaper that has two openings. You can also use something like the apple cheeks that has the mid opening. People find that that washes out. But if you're using a pocket cloth diaper like the Nuggles Simply, which has an opening at the back and an opening at the front. Can you see that? So opening at the front and an opening at the back, your insert is more likely to wash out in the wash. There's no, when it, when it sinks down to the bottom, it's just gonna fall out and there's an opening in the back. Usually that keeps it in, but if you're tired of removing gross inserts or that's something that you just don't wanna do at all, look for a diaper that has two openings. There's lots of different options on the market. The Sweet Pea, the Imagine Baby, the Nuggle Simply, Funky Fluff, Baby Boo cloth diapers, and more. Just look at the description before you buy your cloth diapers. And this kind of system will help you just simplify pocket cloth diapers. So now when the diaper is soiled, you can just toss it in there without even worrying about it. And you get all the benefits of a pocket cloth diaper. Pocket cloth diapers are awesome because you get the smooth surface for shaking off poop. You get the stay dry. And it's a simple one use system for a lot of daycare providers as well as husbands, skeptic grandparents, and whoever else is changing a diaper in your life. So if you don't want to upgrade your stash or you don't want to invest in a stash like this, you can also just use natural fiber inserts like a flat and you can lay it on top of your diaper, not use the straight right. This, this defeats the purpose of everything, but if you've got a pocket stash, you're using a natural fiber insert and you're so tired of pulling out gross inserts every day, just start putting the insert on the top of the diaper. You can use it like that. You don't get that stay dry effect, but it is still effective. It's still using your nice strong elastics to keep everything in. Um, just a rem reminder that do not put microfiber against the skin. That's bad. Microfiber sucks and draws all away that moisture. Not everybody has this problem. I personally, I have a top loader without an agitator and I do tend to use a little bit more water than I think a lot of cloth diaper opinions prefer. And I find that I don't often get my inserts stuck in cloth diapers. My AMP, my Rumparoo are the two, oh, and a few of my cheapies are the biggest culprits of getting the insert stuck in the bottom. But I do find that with a lot of my other um, diaper brands, especially if I'm using a flat or a larger natural fiber insert, that they do come out fine. However, not everybody has this experience and cloth diapering, as you know, is very unique and versatile. If you have a favorite double open pocket cloth diaper, let me know below.